Standard Panel Installation If you are installing custom panels, they must be cut to specific dimensions. The custom panels will slide into the frame on the doors and grill. For non-dispenser models, if the custom panel is less than a quarter inch thick, fits loosely in the door frame, it can be backed up with a piece of filler material or foam tape to improve the fit. For a three quarter inch raised door panel, routing is required. The router depth is one quarter inch all the way around the panel back. This will create a picture frame. After routing, the panel will slide onto the attached door trim. Additional panel width reductions are required per diagrams within the installation manual. Note, for panels constructed with rails and styles, like five panels, the minimum width is three inches for rails and four inches for styles. For a more custom appearance, overlay panels may be installed on trimmed models. The overlay panel must be secured to a quarter inch thick backer panel which slides into the trim. A spacer panel a tenth of an inch thick must be placed between the overlay and backer panel. Assemble the panels with glue and screws. Center the spacer panel on the backer panel, left to right and top to bottom. Secure the panels with glue. Center the spacer and backer panel on the overlay panel and secure with glue and screws. Screws must be countersunk into the backer panel. The overlay panel must be constructed according to the specifications shown to achieve the correct total thickness. Use these panel dimensions for a flush inset installation of a side-by-side -side refrigerator. Important note, the maximum total weight for the assembled panels are 75 pounds for the fresh food door panel, 53 pounds for the freezer door panel, and 18 pounds for the grill panel.